If you don't know this, back in 2015, Citadel was banned from share trading, from trading securities on the Chinese stock market. Again, it happened back in 2015, but it, it still gives us an indication of what can potentially be brewing here, especially if we have the lawmakers working on pretty much passing not less than a dozen laws, okay? And all of the other catalysts like the SEC looking into this with all of the rules, even though some rules are not really enforced, to be honest with you, okay? But still, I think we need to get something a little bit different from this happening back in 2015 in the Chinese stock market. You can see here that Citadel Securities, a unit of US hedge fund Citadel, said one of its accounts in China has been barred from trading shares by securities regulators, making it one of the first foreign institutional investors to be caught up in Beijing's crackdown on malicious short selling that the central government has blamed for the recent market rout. Hmm. Uh, this is kind of um, this is kind of weird, guys. Okay, I, I don't know exactly what comes into your mind when you read this first because it seems like exactly what we are in the middle of here in the U.S. Because, because first of all, it doesn't make any sense, especially when you look at all the the the, the numbers in terms of naked shorts, synthetics, but also the numbers that nobody has any idea as of now of how many shares are existing out there, how many shareholders are out there. And recently I shared with you one of the posts from Adam Aaron on Twitter, and when you do a little bit of stat math on that, um, it gives you an estimate which is quite interesting. Seven billion people. 7 billion shares existing. I mean, this is, this is, this is, it's not only incredible, but it's really outrageous. Okay. But back then on the Chinese market in 2015, even though Citadel is doing the exact same thing, I wonder why the same thing is not happening here in the US. Well, well, I have two possible answers for that. First one, maybe they didn't bribe the government, the Chinese government back then, as they can, they could have potentially been bribing some of the officials here in the U.S. I mean, we know it's a corrupt market. We know these things are kind of not new based off of the recent scandals we've seen on the market. I mean, from Bernie Madoff to all of the others with crypto and et cetera, et cetera. It is not out of the ordinary that you will see some some stories like this happening even in the US. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not blaming or judging or not judging. <laughs> I'm not confirming nor denying, you know, the, the, the accuracy of this information. I'm just speculating right here, right? Nobody's trying to get sued. The other thing is, well, maybe the Chinese government, because they are really paying attention to protecting their markets from something that they believe was going to be a malicious short selling activity from one of the top hedge funds in the US. Even though they allowed them to play in their market, they kind of restricted them, okay, from doing something that they believe was going to be a market disadvantage, something that will be harmful for the market. And this is precisely what we're seeing here in the US. That being said, it gives us a precedent because if Citadel was able to be banned and forbidden from trading in that market, which is not that, it's, it's a big market, okay? It's not maybe the biggest, but it's one of the biggest. So if in China that was done, why in the heck it's not being done here? Well, nobody can say that for now, but by looking at what is actually happening, you know, I think we might not be far from seeing this same thing happening because when you look at order for payment flow, when you look at naked shorting, you look at, you know, Citadel Connect being allegedly registered as an ATS, we look at Virtue, Link, I mean, all of these platforms which are not even supposed to be doing what they're doing, but harming and being a potential systemic risk, meaning they can, when, when it, if it blows out, it can dump 
and drain the entire market when things will go south okay so it's not only for the ips fighting against hedges or short sellers in amc or gamestop it's an entire market that needs to be fixed for something which is even bigger than just what we've seen in 2008. That being said, we still need to continue to monitor this because I don't think the lawmakers, the SEC, and the big guys on top will let this slide because not only the apes, but everybody is now involved and potentially at risk when things go south. So um, just my two cents.